Hey everybody, welcome back to Exanima. So, quick heads up. Uh, if you have a little trouble understanding me at any point today, I had a little bit of dental work done today and still a little numb. So that explains that. It's been an interesting adventure. For example, I was drinking some coffee a few minutes ago and I was thinking, man, I can't taste this coffee. Oh, that's because it's streaming down my face. It's not going into my mouth. <laughs> so, it's been one of those mornings. So anyway, uh, we're going to continue, obviously, exploring, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, I've already, as usual, lost my bearings. you notice we're moving fairly slowly because of all the damn armor. But, you know, eventually we're going to find something new, I think. What is this? Because some of the viewers have been telling me that this new area is supposedly, like, larger than all the other areas combined or something. I would, oh, is that the heater shield? When did I shut this door? That's interesting. Yeah, that's the heater shield. Alright, so let's go back here again. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that this is yet another beta update. This is 0.6.3.3H. H as in hell. <laughs> so, that is the latest. And as usual, we are in the beta branch. Ah, oh, what is this? I don't think we've been in here before. Uh, these, like, prison-esque rooms are never fruitful. I don't think I've ever found anything in any room that featured, uh, this kind of, you know, prison setup. So that does not surprise me. Let's see what we got over here. Pro I mean, I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't want to put a bunch of shit in the jail cells so that prisoners can escape or use the stuff to attack you. So I guess it makes sense. Alright, uh, nothing down in this corner, so let's go back here. Let's go across the hall. Well, before we go this way then, let me check this. Alright, I didn't know if there was a door over here or not. Alright, there's Thunderdome. Nothing over here, so we will have to check out the Thunderdome room. I would switch to my torch and one-handed sword, but it's usually not a good idea because I'll get surprised by an enemy and I won't have time to switch. Nothing over here. Another Thunderdome room. Now this one actually has some benches for some spectators. I think that's new. I don't think I've been in this room yet. And we're stuck on a a pillar as usual. Alright, let's go over here then. Wait a minute, I've obviously been in here before. Yeah, I guess I have. Well, let's go... What is, is there anything in this corner? No. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What is this? Besides a very dark room. I believe I see a... Yes, indeed. A chest. Aw, oh, come on, man. Don't need that. And there doesn't appear to be anything else in here. I'm sure this is just the texture, but this looks suspiciously like a... A movable brick, but it's not. Alright, let's leave that open. So we know we've been in there before, alright. Okay. Okay, so what room is this? This is the the two swords thing. All right, I man, I definitely I need more light, but I just don't want to switch to that torch. Ooh, okay, this is new. Here's the eye room. I did pick up that token, right? Let me double check. That's what this is. Yes, token. Engraved with an eye. So that means these golem bastards ought to leave me alone. Let's go. Damn it, it is dark. Okay, where should we go first? Let's go north. Hmm. This damn it's dark. We gotta switch. 
Alright, there's nothing in here. Now, is there... That's another one of those two sword-looking things. I don't have a token that looks like that. What? What was... Oh, my hell, I didn't even fucking see the guy. I had no idea he was there. Holy shit. Let's try and draw him back into the light, because clearly we need it. Ah, oh, man, that pole axe is so ridiculously long. wonder what these things are. The sound these guys make is pretty creepy. I'd like to know. Like, are they zombies? I guess they are, but... Maybe they're like demons or something? I don't know. Come on. Trade and blow for blow here. That's not the best strategy. I'm getting hit every time because I can't get out of the way and still connect with my attack. Alright, hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to regen some health. This will all be rusted armor. Oh, holy hell, look! Oh, it's ribbons. I thought they were swords. Okay, whatever. Two ribbons. And then all this rusted shit. I should let my health recover before venturing further, but you know I'm stupid and I'm impatient, so. So how about no? What is up this way? Hmm. You know, I really... Damn it, I'm a torn as always. Should I go back and open that door where the ribbons were, or should I keep going this way? I may never find that ribbon door again. Oh well. Alright, we've got as much health back as we're going to get. And I have yet to find a health salve, which is... distressing. Okay, now, um... That's going to be a problem right there. I'm assuming that... Maybe there's like a lever or a switch to turn that off. I don't know, maybe I could even run through it and just take damage and survive, but I'm not about to experiment with that right now. So let's go over here. Not seeing anything right there. Okay, now is that... I need to take a... Wait, whoa, there's like multiple shits in here. So there's the eye. Now this is... These are allegedly ribbons, right? Let me make sure that I'm getting this correct. Is that what that... Yeah, that's what that looks like. So these guys should not attack me. This is not even the room I was thinking of. I want to just open one door in case I need to run back and close it at a later time. Oh, shit. Now, that's a golem. So I'm gonna run. That's not one of those demon things. That's a golem. That's one of the demon things. Oh, this has gone wrong very quickly. That didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay. Bought us a little time there. Let's try and... I don't want to get too lost. Oh, shit. Is that a golem? Yes, it is. Now, basically, I just need to get knocked out. And I can wake up and we can go on. Because I, ba I there's no way I'm going to beat the golem, dude, except by pure luck. Ah, oh, fuck, I keep forgetting that it goddamn teleports me back to this stupid shit every time. Lost my sword. So this was the room I think I was going to check out originally. To switch back to this shitty sword. You know what, now to hell with it. Let's use the poleaxe that these jackasses use against me. The demons, not can't use the weapon the golem has. It's too big and too heavy, apparently. Oh, shit. Hmm. This is going to take some getting used. Ooh, that's pretty nice, though. 
I did not mean to press spacebar. God damn it. Okay. Come on. Okay, I like it. I like it. And a bunch of rusted bullshit. And a spear that I don't really care about. I should add it to my inventory just to piss some viewers off, but I'm not going to. Alright, that light coming from my helmet is just some meager bullshit light, so I need my torch. Please, no more enemies right now. Okay, it's another, like, library card catalog place. Nothing to loot. And nothing to loot. That's fantastic. And in this room, it looks the same. Well, here's a cabinet. And nothing in it. Okay, whatever. Whoops, okay, so let's kind of retrace the steps and go this way now. Be ready to shut this door very quickly, just in case. Yep. I wonder if there's still two of them over there, or if it's just one this time. Maybe I got a little bit of leniency. Let's... Okay, let's switch. Let's just do it, whatever. Whoever it is, let's try and trap them in the doorway and maybe... Stab. Like so. There's, there's two of them. I'm feeling they're gonna get the door closed. Okay. Alright, you can go ahead and close it. I wonder if there's a way around. Or did I already try this? I already tried it. There is no way around. Shit. Well, I guess I can try... Oh no, you got through! How the hell did that happen? Well, okay. That halberd is 50 feet long, as you know. So now I've lost both my claymore and my two-handed axe or wh whatever. Or not two-handed axe, pole axe, whatever the fuck it was. So now what do we have? And I will go to the two-handed sword, I guess, the shitty one. We're not going to last much longer unless we find a health salve, by the way. And that's okay, because once we die, we'll have to start over and we'll get to see some of the new stuff from these latest updates. Such as class selection, allegedly. But you can't do that until you kind of start over and lose all your progress past the portal. So... Dying's not going to be the worst thing. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm doing just horribly. What the fuck, man? It's like I've totally forgotten how to fight now that I've lost my claymore. There's no room to fight, of course. That also helps. I'm always, always, always facing the wrong direction when I swing. Wow. I, please kill me. Honestly, I don't even want to play anymore until I start over. But no, of course, he doesn't kill me. Just knocked out. So I've lost that sword now. Or no, I haven't. So for some reason, I guess it's only when the golem kills you that you get transported to the, the token shit. I don't know. Let's tr I'm going to die soon anyway. I really don't care what happens now. So let's just try and explore very quickly, see if we can find anything cool before we die. Just some cabinets that you can't search. What, what, what was it? What did I say? A settle? What the hell does that mean? A settle? What the fuck is that? So now we've... God damn it. So now we've got a blue crystal and a green crystal. But not for long, because we're going to be six feet under pretty soon. And we'll start over outside the portal, and we'll come in and check out some new stuff so it's not 
not so bad. Hey, chest. Whoa. Whoa. Superior. Now that looks pretty nice. It's exactly the same. It just looks better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but it covers the shoulders too. That's kind of cool. Oh, didn't clean your fucking inventory. You're fucking killing me, Smalls. All right, so I'll make you people happy and toss a few of these things, but not too many. But we're definitely not doing the sword and board shit anymore, so I don't need those shields. Here's a bunch of primitive shit. Don't need any of these keys either. But, eh, whatever. I made my donation to Goodwill right there, so my conscience is clean. There. Did we already check? I don't even know. Alright. Okay. What else did I miss when I was running like hell through here? I don't know. Here's a bathroom. What am I hearing? Sounds like I'm hearing electricity again. And apparently I was. Oh, I should probably not walk anywhere near that thing. It's probably like a Tesla coil. And it's going to fuck me up if I try to get near it. Looks like there's a lever right there. Yeah, but you know damn well if I walk near it, that Tesla coil shit is going to fuck me up. I can't check these? Oh, that's weak. But then again, it would kind of be the perfect way to die. It'd be a very glorious way to go, getting shocked to death. Oh, let's try it. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's try it, because I don't give a shit. You gotta wait till this turns into a... an arrow. The cursor. There it is. Oh, that was an anticlimax if I've ever seen one. So is there anything here? No? Okay. Can I turn this any further up? No. Alright, so... Hmm. Don't know exactly what that accomplished. I mean, other than, yeah, turning that electricity off. Yes, I know. I wonder if that affects that other electricity that was blocking that hallway. Hmm. I don't know. But without a health salve, we're never gonna know. Because death is coming quickly for us. Plate gauntlets, not impressed. Man, I want to take a drink of coffee so bad, but I just, I don't want to spill it all over myself again, and this time, probably spill it on the damn keyboard, too. Why can I not move this, uh, table? I'm just gonna have to do it the hard way. Oh, naturally. And naturally we're facing the wrong way again. What the hell? Well, there's that security skill, or I think it's security, whatever it is, where you can continue an attack despite getting hit. That's huge. Ah, oh, we almost had him too. That sucks. What is he wearing? Looks like an interesting helmet there. Alright. Whatever. We're almost dead, but we're still not there. Soon enough, ladies and gentlemen. Soon enough. No, that's not the damn room. This was the room he was in. Normally I'd shut the door behind me, but I'm suicidal right now, so I don't care. It's been some time now, I don't know how long, I don't think anyone will come for me, or the others all dead. This mask will sustain me. Ah, so that mask he was wearing was, like, keeping this dude alive. Zombifying him or something. Once we were almost on, they raided the armories. I assume they killed an officer. Many were killed, but our attempt stopped them. Were I was backed into this room, they blocked the door. They did not see I was carrying this mask. Well, now I really wish I would have killed that guy. I would have gotten some kind of fucking magical mask. Where'd he go? Damn it. Well, now I have no idea where he went. That sucks. 
pretty sure we already went through here, but I just can't recall. No, I don't think we did. I don't remember seeing that big-ass shield. Nothing there. Oh, good. That, that's, that's good. That's good. Okay. And let's see. Rushing forth without any sense of caution. Unburdened with the the worries and anxieties of the living because we are on our way to death. It feels really good, I gotta tell you. Alright, what the hell is this? Locked! Since when? You know what, I bet that shitbag with the mask probably has like a key or something. But he seems to have disappeared. Where could he have gone? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in the next episode, or maybe we'll just die, turn that electricity back on and run into it and kill ourselves. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen. But remember, the reason I'm saying that is because some of the newer update stuff is not accessible until we start over. Now, not from scratch. Apparently, we can start over from right before we step through the portal, which is cool. Anyway, thanks as always for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy my really pathetic, pathetic attempts at playing this game. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this series, and we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.